Hi guys, welcome back to the survival project. In the last episode, we got all of these trees built up properly, got all of the bushes on them, and expanded the forest all the way out down here. We also built up Kame's house as well to cover up our little creeper farm, so that's all looking great. In between episodes, I've just been doing a bit of busy work, really. Uh, let me just get into flight mode so I can show you what I've been up to. So I kind of expanded this just like the tiniest bit. But the main section I worked on, and it's night time, so we're going to have mobs coming everywhere. In fact, let me sleep real quick. Just watching these mobs die real quick. But yeah, so I did a load of work to this sort of area by our starter house. We've got a nice little garden area there now. So let's just fly over here and have a quick look. And probably kill these zombies. Always zombies in armour. Yeah, so I've dumped a load of these on leather boots. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, we planted a load of these little orange flowers in between episode and just made this little plantation area up on the top there. I quite like it. I think it helps sort of round this final area off in the starter area. Got some benches about the place and that as well. So this is all starting to look a little bit more complete. Still got loads of work to do up over here. But yeah, that, I'll get round to that at some point. So I also, in between episodes, come along and build up the cliff facings along the edge here quite a bit as well. That also helps make it look a little bit more full. There's a massive hole there. But this is the area that I wanted to be working in today. So I'm going to build a lighthouse up here. Because I think it kind of makes sense. If I get it built sort of right on the edge here, that could wind up looking pretty good. And yeah, then we're just going to add some fencing and add some probably plant life again, not too dissimilar to what we have going on over there. So that should all wind up looking pretty good. I've got a little time lapse of me building these cliffs up, so I'm going to jump into that real quick whilst I go and get all of the stuff that I need for today's episode. So I'll catch you guys in around about 40 seconds. Pretty certain I've got everything I need together now so I'm going to start off at the bottom and we're going to be working our way up the hill and then eventually building the lighthouse up. So I'm going to start off down here by building this little sort of A-frame thing that I did for our little garden area. Really really simple build and it shouldn't take too long to get done. Uh, I'm going to keep those dark fences thank you. So we're just going to chuck a couple bits of cobblestone and then there will be a couple of them. Uh, I don't have any scaffolding on me. I don't know what's happened to all my scaffolding. I seem to keep losing it all. So that comes up to there. And then I need some of these guys. And that is just going to sit on the top. So let's get that. And goes double up like that. And then we are going to do a stair. So the stair goes just there, and then I actually need to go down a level. This is where scaffolding comes in handy, but we don't have any. So let's come along over here, and there should be a slab just underneath here. And then we're going to have a block like so, and that is going to come up as well. And there will be another one just underneath there. And then that's going to lead us back into that, back into another stair, into double slabs again just to get that extra bit of texture that we get out of it there. And I can't actually reach down there which is, oh I can, oh great, that makes life a little bit easier so back to the stone walls, double that up, let's grab the fences again. 
the fence is in so that's all of that done nice and easy and then we're going to come over this way a little bit and i'm going to have to clean everything up in a minute and then that should go back into a slab and then just one more slab there and exactly the same on this side and of course it's getting dark now so yep this goes into a stair into a slab into a slab and let's just jump back down and we'll sleep real quick apparently there are monsters nearby I think that's because I've not lit anything underneath up we'll just move the bed over here a little bit nice and easy right so this is almost done it is a really nice and simple design but I think it has quite a nice little effect on the area so let's get both of them on there it's just dark oak fences coming down and that's all great and then just to get some lighting in the area we chuck a couple of these and then I need some spruce trap doors so got some spruce wood here I feel like I'm forever making spruce trap doors uh, I actually always forget the recipe because I tend to just do that which just makes life a little bit easier so I'm going to have to tower up again uh, I feel like I'm going to be taking most of this away but there you go put you on there in fact I actually need another one of them there and then there's going to be one trap door here that's not a trap door one trap door here and then just a few trapdoors up here just to sort of balance it out a little bit more but we have this one here that adds a little a little bit of flair to the design and that should be pretty much the whole thing done now just need to jump back up on this one real quick and pop this one here and this one here and I actually want to change the direction of that one. And then that is it. Nice, easy, simple. And loads of framework about the place. So let's just get rid of this real quick. That made a really loud noise. So it's just a little thing. But I think it really helps sort of break sections up. And I think it looks pretty good as well. So we've got that going for us now. So we've got our little gateway leading up. So I think the next thing to do is grab our acacia fence in and we're going to bring this along just to break up the path away from the little garden area that we're going to be making around here and I think this time around I'm actually going to be using some of the orange flowers that I've got again just because I've got loads of them compared to everything else they seem to be a little bit more common in my sort of flower areas get rid of that uh, yeah in my flower forests so all of this just comes along here like this break it up a little bit so we can get in and out and along down here and yeah that should do the trick so let's just get some lanterns as well running out of them i need to fix up my village trading hall it doesn't work and there is a way to make it work it just means it can't be as uniform as i would have quite liked it to be so that's on my list of to do Get these bits up in here. And just a few more coming down here. And yeah, we'll just get one more there. Right, so I'm going to need to come along with some green carpet and add some extra light and just to make sure that no mobs spawn or anything like that. But otherwise, we should be all right. Get them in. And into our little plant box see so i've got loads and loads of these orange marigolds and yeah so i figured i could just use them and it should wind up looking pretty good so let me just get this filled in real quick and we can have a quick look well i really wasn't expecting to have enough of these orange marigolds but it turns out i've still got some left over so that's pretty cool uh yeah i think that looks pretty good like that just little details that sort of help finish areas off I think so I think that will wind up looking pretty good I might actually need to extend it up onto the main platform as well 
as you can see at the moment, I've kind of just capped it off with the fencing, which what I was thinking about doing was wrapping this fence all the way around and keeping it on the grass area. Um, so, yeah, I guess we can see what this looks like if we do it. Yeah, I think that should look all right. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work. So yeah, let's get this capped off then, and then we can start on the actual build, I think. I've not actually got a design ready for this one, I'm kind of just winging it today, which I've not really done for quite a while. I normally jump into a creative world and actually test my builds out, but I think it could wind up looking pretty good. I've got a little bit of an idea, I know I want a semi-circular base, so we'll start from there, start working our way up and see what we can come up with. Okay, so this is going to be the basis for the build. I'm just using dark oak logs and dark oak slabs at the moment. Yeah, there must be a hell of a lot of mobs down there because it's pretty much all I can hear. Uh, yeah, so what I'm thinking is, is we can get our acacia in here. Uh, we'll come up by maybe four to begin with. I think that's a, a decent starting ground. And we're going to strip that down to get the red color in between. So that should only be visible from this side here. Get these lifted up as well. And let's just see how that looks real quick. And yeah, that's fine. Uh, it adds a little bit of a colour in there, so that's good. So let's just do that on all sides real quick. So I moved my little crafting station up here because it's just way more convenient. I don't know why I didn't put it up here in the first place. So I want to make some orange glass because there's something I just want to try. See how well it looks at least. I probably shouldn't have made all of them into orange dye. But wait, how do you dye glass? Is it like that? Can I not dye glass? Oh, okay. The glass surrounds it. Okay, right. I've got some orange glass now, and I've got a bunch of oak trapdoors, so I'm going to take these and build them up. And hopefully this should wind up looking pretty cool. Probably chosen the worst side to do it on, and that is not going to work like that. Let's just get that chucked down, and get that. Didn't shift click. Get that chucked down, so... Right, before I turn them into glass panes, let's just get these built up and probably pop one there as well. And yep, let's just make a bunch of them. Probably could have saved on some of the glass. I'm not going to need all of that as orange stained glass. But is this going to sit right? No, it is not. Okay, uh, let's get rid of that. I'll see what it looks like using the full glass, but I feel like the panes are probably going to look a bit better. Of course, I need to crouch. And of course, it's turning to night time. Well, let's just fly out and see how that looks real quick. Hopefully, it should look like the sun's in our eyes. Um, yeah, I think that looks all right. We can stick with just using full on glass for it then. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps saying there's monsters nearby. I know it's because they're underneath me, but. There's no way they're close enough. Okay, now I've got that in on all sides, we can have a bit of a look at it. And yeah, I think that looks fine. It's nothing special. But I do really like that little orange glass texture. I think I did a fairly decent job on that one. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. That is great. So now we need to bring things up a level. I think I want to do this in maybe three tiers. So how should we go about bringing this up? Let's try making some spruce stairs real quick and let's see what we can do. So let's get this made. And what I'm thinking is in these corners, if I bring this together like that, then we can get a spruce slab, which I don't have any of them on me either. Weird for me. I'm used to having spruce everywhere. Uh, yeah, that'll do. All right. Thank you. And we'll get a spruce slab in there as well. Just like that. 
and maybe we could put some fences on there actually that might wind up looking pretty good we'll try that out in a little bit so we're going to come around on all sides and pop this in because i want to come in a level basically that's what i'm planning for here so let's just try and get on top probably coming in at a really really bad angle nope we made it cool so I think I might want to continue the acacia up here so we'll go up by probably four again and then on top of those bits there I'm going to bring the dark oak logs in because I hope this is going to look all right and actually no it won't look like anything because I'm just going to be blocking this off hmm maybe the dark oak needs to come on here but I want to make some cross beams first Okay, this is what I've got so far. Uh, there's obviously a lot of sort of texture details that I need to chuck into it. But I think that that looks okay. And is my clay see-through? That's weird. Uh, it's not clay, it's concrete. But yeah, so we've got this level coming up here. I'm probably going to chuck some oak trap doors along the edges of where those windows are. And that's the same on all sides. And we'll get some fences and stuff like that chucked in. I'm also thinking I need to put like a little bit of a roofed area on that as well. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to have that go. Uh, let's just take off real quick. So I've also added the red trapdoor trim to the top section there. So we're going to come in again now. And that's going to be our sort of three main tiers. And then right at the very top on a fourth tier is where we're going to have the actual lighthouse part of it. So, yeah, hopefully it should wind up looking pretty good. I'm just going to get this little first bit of roof input in and we can have another look at that because I think that should sort of help this start coming together. So let's get that bit done. Okay, so I've added the two little bits of roof in. They're pretty much following a design that I've done quite a few times way back over there. We can't see any examples of them because it's all blocked off. But, yeah, I think this is starting to come together. Uh, I've run out of lanterns, so I couldn't keep lighting all of it up, so you can see I've got a few done on that level, but not the whole thing. Originally, I didn't really want to go with this roof design again, because I've done it quite a lot, but I think for a lighthouse it makes sense. I want to keep it as lit as possible. So, yeah, there's not too much going on here, really. We've got the trap doors outside the windows, some dark oak fences, and, yeah, just some more dark oak fences up there so yeah there's really not too much going on some spruce slabs here just to sort of help highlight these dark oak fences because they blend in a little bit kind of tempted to bring this roof out a little bit more but i think for the time being it should be all right as it is so yeah i want to go up by one more level uh probably only going to go up by maybe five this time so should i extend this red up by one more if we do that could do that see how this winds up looking uh let's strip you and let's strip you and oddly minecraft is playing the same song twice so that's really actually quite strange uh right yeah i probably want to keep this at this thickness though so yeah really really putting me off I've just got two Minecraft songs playing. Now, I'd understand if I had, like, a camera account on, but I don't. I've just realised I'm using spruce logs and not dark oak. But that doesn't make no sense. Let's get rid of those. You can tell it's putting me off. Uh, yeah. Let me try and work it out. Two secs. Okay, I just turned the music off. That seems to have actually solved the issue, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so spruce goes away. Dark oak comes in its place. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So probably five, I said. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Thank God for mending, eh? And then, yeah, I'm just going to cross beam this straight away. So there's only going to be a gap of four in between. It's going to be a 4 by 3 for us to build up like a little wall section. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to do that, to be totally honest. 
I know that on this sort of lighthouse level, I kind of, I want to do like a trim of this glass, but I don't want to completely encase it in glass. So let's do that. And have I got more dark oak? I only got two left on me, but if I do that, that should at least connect those bits up. Yeah, something like that. And then probably some fences, uh, dark oak fences coming up like that. Just to keep this bit a little bit open so that lights can be seen. I'm going to use campfires for the light. And hopefully it should wind up looking pretty cool. So let's just see how we feel about the height of this one. And we'll land on a tree over here. Yeah, I think the height's going to be good. So I'm not too keen on that stripped acacia wood there. That looks a little bit weird now. So I'll probably have to change that back to dark oak. And for the wall section there, I'm probably just going to do something similar to what I've done here. So I'm going to get those bits done and then we can jump back in for the top section. Okay, so definitely got a bit carried away and I've finished the whole thing now. Uh, this is kind of why I do things in time lapse. Because when I'm building, I kind of just get on with the build. But yeah, that is it in its sort of glory. I'm I'm alright with it. I want to do some work to that top roof there. Uh, yeah, there's a load of campfires inside there and everything. You can probably hear them just about now. Uh, there's just one little detail that we need to add on to the front here. So... Let's grab some spruce trap doors and some birch. And we're just going to do the classic entrance that I've done pretty much everywhere in this world now. But it works, so why change it? And I'll just put a spare one behind here just to balance it out. And I realise that I've got a crossbeam that needs to go... You know what, I've done this so many times and I've just managed to mess that up. Um, yeah, let's pretend that that didn't happen. Get that down. So I just need to pop one sort of like on the front to make it look like it's opening. But actually, it might be better if I get rid of this side and just pop two here. And then we'll just have like a one one way entry to it. And I've got an issue again. One. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't make sense. I don't want that to come all the way up. It's only going to be three high. So, yeah, that gives us a nice little entryway in. And then we need to do something to the floor here. But this isn't really a build that I'm ever going to need to go into, to be totally honest. And I'm not the best for doing interiors. So, yeah, I might wind up just leaving it. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the overall build. I think it looks pretty good. Let's just get some pathway built into here as well to bring us over so yeah probably thinking get some benches sort of chuck down along here uh, we could just do that with some dark oak slabs rather than waiting to make beds we can just get them in and have i got any traps on me yeah i've got these ones that might look okay for a bench yeah i think that looks all right for a bench and we'll get one over on this side as well once i've got all of that cleared out Maybe we'll get one here as well, just a little two-seater. Yeah, just to add a little bit of interest to the area. So, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be sticking to time lapses for builds in future. But I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think that looks half bad. Might wait till night time so we can have a bit of a look at it. So, yeah, I'll jump back in as soon as it hits night. Okay, the sun's finally going down so we can get a good look at this now. And I think that is looking pretty good from this distance. For a winging it build, I don't think it's come out half bad. I might need to do a little bit of work to the top section. Uh, mainly this roof. But I actually think the roof looks really cool from down on the ground level. So from down here, yeah, I think that looks really cool. And majority is it's meant to be seen from down here. I really need to get down there and light all of that up. And fill in these gaps just to make that look right. But... Yeah, it's a pretty cool build. It's not really serving any purpose. There's nothing in there. I'm tempted to just chuck an ever portal in there. Don't really think it's worth it though. I suppose it's just more access to the never for me. I need to actually do some work inside of the never. But yeah, I think this is probably where I'm going to be ending off the video. So 
Again, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 100 subs of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, there'll be more information when we're a bit closer to the 100 sub goal. In the next episode, I want to start leveling off this island. And getting this set up for the zoo that we're going to be building. But the main build for the next episode is going to be in there. We just need to build the little house up for the owner of the tea shop. And you might notice, uh, if I can just get a decent view, yeah, I've got some grass paths going along in a couple of points. These are places that I'm planning on putting bridges and stuff like that. So, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed the episode. It's been a bit of a different one for me, trying to do things in a little bit of a tutorial way to begin with, but kind of just jumped into progress updates because I found it really hard to build and talk at the same time. So that's something for me to work on. As I say though, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.